Yeehaw! What's going on, guys? Team Rival here. Welcome to this Let's Play of Toy Story, another childhood classic of mine. I'm really enjoying doing these, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you guys are probably wondering, what the hell's he thinking? And, uh, there's a reason for this. I'll, you'll see why. I have a little bit of a uh, history with this game. I love this game. Toy Story's a great game. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, we actually gained a lot in the past couple days since I put up that video, which is rather surprising, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but thank you for subscribing. Enjoyed. This is probably the first Let's Play you guys have watched, if you've watched any of them. And uh, yeah, thanks for subscribing, by the way. I appreciate it. And without further ado, we don't need to change the options or anything. Let's get this on a roll. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Uh, you guys really want me to read this. I really don't want to fucking read this. It's Andy's birthday. We have to find out what the presents he's gonna get. Andy's birthday's today. We gotta, the, the army men gotta go downstairs. So, Woody has to talk to the, the, the guy. Oh god, I'm doing a terrible You guys have fucking seen Toy Story. Who the fuck hasn't seen Toy Story? It's a childhood clash. Classic, man. Uh... We have to we have to remove the lid on the bucket. This is the objective of the level. Move the lid on the bucket so the soldiers can get out. Then we have to find the baby monitor. And let's begin. All right, that old army game. Open the bucket of soldiers and then locate the baby monitor and pass it down to the sergeant's troops. The toys will then meet you at the other baby monitor. Good luck and watch out for the planes and trains. How the fuck are those enemies anyway? Here we go. First, uh, why is jump? Why is jump? And A. Whip. And that's it. Just go. All right. Ow. This game, boy. You, you put those. In. I don't know exactly know well how that happened, but it happens. You gotta click the stars. Oh shit. You gotta jump over these. But I love this game, and like I said, you guys are probably wondering why I'm doing this. But let me explain a story to you. So, when did Toy Story come out? '98 was it? I believe. We're down to two, the, the, by the way, on the screen, top right, the hats represent the lives, the stars represent, represent the amount of hits, and then the, uh, we'll pause it, the, uh, the fucking Etch-A-Sketch tells you which way to go. Well, when I was a young kid, I played this game a lot, and I had a lot of difficulty with it. I know, I know, what the hell are you thinking, Chris, you're eight years old, but, well, one day, I was playing this level, and I came to this spot. I want you guys to pay attention to the stars, because this is this is my legacy. This is the Chris code. Let me explain it to you. I came to this ledge and I stood and I and I wanted to attack the helicopter, so I stood down here and started attacking the helicopter. Because I didn't know what else to do. And then, look at the stars spin. Huh. I was like, what the hell is this? So then I tried to get hit by the gun. The, the, the thing. Then I realized I, Chris Clement, had discovered. The Infinite Help Code. Da -da -da. So that's my legacy with this game. It's called the Crystal Knight Code. Anytime you guys play Toy Story, which I'm sure none of you will, but here's the uh the lead. Move, move, so move. Here's the, the sergeant coming. Pretty good, pretty good voiceovers for a Super Nintendo game. Ow. It doesn't even matter what I do right now, frankly. And I know you guys are saying, hey, that's cheap. You could but to be fair, I really could beat this game without getting hit. It's not that hard of a game. Those. Although to be fair, I'd probably be dead right now. But when you whip that down, watch out for those. Come down here. We're going for the stars. Because otherwise, this will be nah, But I want to go up and show you the guys the entire world. There's a, This is a very good platform for, me, for you know what is supposed to be a children's game. All right, fuck it. We'll just finish the level. We'll just run through everything. I know you guys think I'm, I'm being cheap. It's whatever. To be fair, I wanted to. I, that's the reason I picked this game. because I have a history with this game, whether it be I discovered a code or not. And it's not that hard of a game to beat. So, what we need to do is the army guys will carry it over. And we, as Woody, will just need to go and jump up here. Level 1 completed. And that's under a couple minutes. I don't even know. We got 22 stars, though. whoop de fucking do All right. And then, as, as in the movie, they go and look to see what toys he's got. 
And then, uh, he finds out that there's a Buzz Lightyear. It's a surprise present. They don't know it's Buzz Lightyear, but everyone knows it's Buzz Lightyear. Red alert. Help the other toys get to their places before Andy gets back to his bedroom. Rex, Ham, and Robot need to go into the toy chest. RC Car and Rocky need to go under the bed, and you need to get onto the bed. Simple enough. It's such a fucking operation, though. I don't know why they go out. See? You have to get them in like that. Get this. And honestly, the music in this game is great. I, I, like I said, this is, this is a childhood favorite. I've said it like 16 times now, but this really is a childhood favorite of mine. And what we need to do is, when they come over, have the right timing, and just pop them right in. There you go. That's one. Gotta wait for the RC car to come back. We can do two. Oh, damn it. Oh, God. Now we gotta wait again. Thankfully, the time limit is... Although, it gets pretty tight. It still gives you plenty of time to make a few mistakes. But it does that. You do end up making a few mistakes. Um... I know Diglio has been looking for a solo Let's Play to do, and you guys have been giving him suggestions, and he wants to thank you for that, but he's really picky with games. I, 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 I don't really, honestly don't even know what that guy will do. He's more of it, and we got the tour, that, so we're already done with part one of the objective. So we have to move on. Nice little springy sound effects. We have to let Rex out. Rex is out. Rex needs to be, I think Rex needs to be popped in. Yeah, Rex needs to be uh, popped into uh, into this. He can just walk through it whatever he wants for whatever reason. I have to jump over everything. This damn game. And I really don't want to miss this. Oh, did you see it in that weird uh, second bounce even though it was clearly not touching him? Okay, so we move on through here. We're pro, we're pro, uh, we're pro game in this right now. We let him out. And he happens to move that. I never knew his name in the, uh, the, the movie. I'm not gonna lie, I have no clue, fucking clue what his name is. I'm thinking this game is actually gonna take me longer than Aladdin. Which I honestly hope you guys enjoy, because I, I enjoyed uh, shooting Aladdin, as I said in the video. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying that we, Diglio and I have been putting a lot of uh, content up. Because we really have. Is that it? I don't know if that's it. Yep, that's it. Level 2 completed. Got a little bit more stars this time. And then, this is when Wendy find, finds out about Buzz Lightyear. And then, I forget what we have to do. They have a race. Woody and uh, Buzz have a race. Ego check. Try and keep up with Buzz to show that you are just as good a toy as him. Hint, try to swing on the hooks using your pull string to cross larger gaps. Okay, simple enough. Let's give it a shot. This is a level where there's a, uh, there is a ground, which you can get hurt from. And obviously, there's no way you're going to be buzzed if you guys have seen, seen the movie. Not to spoil anything for you. But uh, this also reminds me of a of a girlfriend story, if you guys want to hear about a girlfriend. So, this is a, that's a checkpoint. And it sees way fucking ahead of me. It's fucking ridiculous. I technically could kick his ass. I really could. If this was a real race, I could destroy him. But, anyway, I had this girlfriend. This was only recently that and Toy Story 3D was out. So I think I'm thinking a nice date. Oh, you bring the girl out. You bring her to go see Toy Story 3. And I mean, not Toy, Toy Story 3, not Toy Story 3. Honestly, I'm trying to play this guy. Oh, well, see, yeah, that's kind of cheap, but whatever. Who cares? Well, we'll just pretend it never happened. This isn't about pro gaming. This is about just beating the damn game while I talk. And I'm trying to do this as. Oh. 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 And, uh, damn it, I'm first forgetting about my story. Uh, I'm not mentioning any names, but I'm sure DJ, you'll know who this is. But anyway, this, I wanted to take her to see Toy Story 3D. Because I really wanted to see it. I, you know, what's better than seeing Toy Story 3 
3D and IMAX? And she said, no, it's too long. Who, who in their right and see he beats me? But that's three levels down and we're 10 minutes in. A third of the movie's over right now.